what's up guys Matt back here with BK Vending and Flipping just uh, doing a collection video it's gonna be mixed over the next couple of days today is actually Thursday um, I don't work tomorrow so I'm gonna get the ones that are up here by my office today we're actually switching the two nail salons that are up here to pops only so I'll show you those boxes right there that's gonna be for the two nail salons um, <clears throat> And then also like, so we had an issue with O'Reilly. They called us a few days ago and told us that the box was empty and we needed to come replace it. So we went down, we took a new box down there to them, got it back and realized that once we did a count on it, we realized there was over like $20 in theft. So we basically went in there and I basically said, listen, when there's this much theft, it's the employees know can you please try to tell them to quit taking the candy without paying for it and they got upset and told us to just take the box which I'm okay with we're that much theft I should have just pulled the box anyways and not even worried about it so we don't have a one at O'Reilly's anymore which is fine um, I was gonna try to switch it to all pops and see how it went but they uh, they said you know we didn't want they didn't want it anymore because basically because I accused their employees of stealing which they were but anyways that's fine um, so we don't have that one, so we have another box that we'll need to go locate. So the ones I'm going to replace today are the two nail salons we have up here, and then there's a Papa John's up here um, that I'm going to be swapping out as well. So those are the three today. We will have more tomorrow and possibly Saturday, depending upon how busy I am tomorrow. Um, but I'll keep you guys uh, informed, and we'll be back with you here in just a minute. All right, guys, so I'm at the first one. I'm going to run in and swap it out with one that's all pops. And this one and our other nail salon that I'm getting today are both a one-month-long uh, collection. So we haven't been here in a month. They don't really do very well. I'm hoping that by switching to pops, we can either extend it even to two months or, um, you know, hopefully they'll sell better. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. But uh, I'll, I'll be right back. All right, guys, so here's the box. You guys can see it still looks like there's almost all of the candy there. Uh, not a whole lot in it. I am going to pop it open and see how much is in there so uh, we can keep track. But anyways, we're going to be heading over to the next one. All right, guys. So that one was D's Perfection Nails. There were, were uh, nine pieces of candy taken total, including the pops. And there was $3 bills in there. So absolutely no theft for a month. But... $3 just isn't cutting it for a month. We've got to get a different location. So uh, hopefully the next couple of weeks we can move this and get a better location. On to our next one. Okay, I'm at the next nail salon place. I'm going to run in this uh, next box that has just pops. Uh, again, this one is a one month um, collection. So we'll... All right, guys, so I just got that box. I'll show you what it looks like. There it is. Again, it's been a whole month. I'll uh, count it up and uh, we'll see what's in there. All right, so we had $6 worth of candy missing from that box and we had $4.06 of cash in there. So we had almost $2 of theft. Okay, so I'm at Papa John's. I'm gonna run the new box in and grab the old one. I'm hoping to not have as much theft there since I did speak to the manager last time, um, but we'll see. I'll be right back. Okay, so just got it. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna open it up and see how much is in there. All right, so Papa John's had $15.07 in there, and there was, uh, I think, 40, I don't know, 40 something pieces of candy left. So I don't know that we had any theft in here after talking to the manager about it. That's pretty cool. Uh, I'll confirm that later on in the video, but pretty excited about that. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with some. All right, guys, so I'm here with Noah and Brock, neither of which wanted to come with me today, but I forced them to. Uh, we're out collecting honor boxes, so we're about to hit our brand, the new Papa John's that we just got two weeks ago. Uh, we're gonna do our first swap out and collection here. All right, so Noah just swapped it out. This is what it looked like. It looks pretty good so far. We're gonna pop it open and see how much is in there. All right, so Noah pop, uh, cut the thing, zip tie. He's gonna go ahead and pop it open now. Not bad. We'll count it up and let you know what's in there. All right, guys, so I think it had like 22.86. We'll do a final count 
later on uh, when we get back home. But I think that's what it had. Brock back there still thrilled to death that he came. All right, so we're at discount. Brock back there. Noah's running the box in over there. This has been a good location for us. It does have theft, but it usually has like between, I don't know, 15 and 20 bucks in it at least. But it usually also has, you know, five or six dollars in theft. But we'll see when he comes out. We'll be right back. Okay, so we just got the box. There it is. We're gonna open it up real quick. All right, Noah clipped it. It's gonna pop it open. Not bad, we'll count it up and see what's in there. All right guys, so there was $6 worth of candy left and 16, 50 or 48 or something like that in there. So we had like $7 and change of theft, um, which is a little bit high for this location, but uh, we collect it every week and to get, you know, 15 bucks a week is, what is that, $60 a month. I mean, we'll, t we'll deal with a little bit of theft for a box that's performing that well. So we're going to head to our next Papa John's. We'll All right, guys, we just got to our next Papa John's. Noah is right back there going in. Uh, he'll bring the box out in just a second. Brock eating uh, Frosty because we just got Wendy's. All right, he just got back. Here's what it looks like. Pretty lean, hopefully the money matches. We'll uh, pop it open here in just a second. Okay, Noah's gonna pop it open. Looks okay, we'll uh, count it up and see how how we did. All right, so that Papa John's had 22.86 in it. So maybe like a dollar or two in theft tops. Uh, we'll figure it out exactly when we get home later, but a pretty good two week location. Uh, we have one more Papa John's to collect, and we have uh, Logan's box to collect and one other box to collect. So we're gonna drive down and get those. All right, so we're at Massage Envy. I'm gonna run this box in. This is the one where it, only the employees have access to it. It's been a full month. If there's if there's any type of theft at all here, I think I'm gonna pull it because it doesn't do well enough to leave. But we'll see how it is. I'm gonna run it in right now, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so I just got it and. Once Noah moves his hand, you guys can see. It looks like quite a bit was taken this time, so hopefully uh, the money matches. We're gonna pop it open and see. Wait, it's not coming. All right, Noah's gonna go ahead and pop it open. It's stuck. So we'll see. There should be $17 in there, so it's gonna be short for sure, but uh, we'll see just how bad. Okay, so we had... Uh, what do we say? Like roughly eight dollars of theft from that one. So I would run back in, but we're in a big hurry. So I'm just going to talk to them next month when we're here. They moved the box into the manager's office, which I think is good because uh, more people will see it. Because every employee has to go in there after their shift. Um, but the theft is is really really high. So I'll talk to her next time I'm here. Um, I am liking though that I mean that was our biggest collection from that one by far. So we're on to our last Papa John's of the day, and then we'll go collect Logan's box, and uh, we'll see you there. Okay, Brock just ran in and switched out the box from Papa John's. There it is. This one is a little bit slower of a location, as you can see, but uh, we'll open it up and see how she did. All right, Noah's going to pop it open. There should be roughly $12 in there because we've got about $18 worth of candy left. Okay, so we're at Sports Clips now. Uh, this one is Logan's location. If you guys remember, they, like cut the top off of the box so we can't just run a new box in there to swap it out because then they'll probably cut the top off of that one so Brock ran in to grab it uh, and then we're gonna swap out all the candy and everything and uh, we'll let you know how it is all right so Brock just grabbed it and it is literally 100% empty hopefully uh, the money matches but we'll open it up and see okay Noah got it open he's gonna pop it open Looks pretty good. Hopefully, uh, man, there's a lot of change. Hopefully it matches. There was almost an accident right in front of us, but we'll count it up. All right, so Logan's box ended up with $19.26 in it. So he had $10.74 of theft, which he's not gonna be too happy about. But uh, he's not with us, but we'll tell him obviously. And uh, Brock just ran the box back in there and see what Logan wants to do. He may wanna pull it, I don't know, but. We'll uh, figure it out. We'll count everything all up uh, at the end, like we're all finished collecting. Um, I'm hoping that we have over $100 in collections today, but we'll see. 
All right, guys, so I'm not at home. I'm actually uh, over at my brother-in-law's um, watching their kids. They're gone, but I we needed to do the money count. So this first $3 you guys saw earlier was from one of the nail salons. I can't remember which one, um, but it had $3 and absolutely no theft. So that one was good. Then there's up here, there's uh, $3 and like six cents, I think. That's from the other nail salon. Um, and there was like a dollar or something in theft there. I don't remember the exact amount, but we switched both of those to just pops. So we'll see how they do with just pops, but there's the money from those. You put it here and try to combine it. Sorry, I don't have a table here where I can do it. And then this is the money from Papa John's, which is up by my work. Um, well, let me count it again real quick. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 15 dollars and some change uh let me double check and see if we had theft there yeah so i just counted everything up with the amount of candy that was left which is right there in that bag we had zero theft at this papa john's guys which is huge because that's the one where i had to talk to the manager because the theft was getting so high so to have none this time is awesome um, on to the next one okay guys this is the money from o'reilly auto parts um, we only had 14 pieces of candy left total, you can see there, and we only collected $9.86. So we had about $15 of theft. I, I talked to the manager, I called him about it, um, I think I mentioned it earlier, and we were going to switch to just pops to see how it went, and then the manager in the, the next morning called and said that they can't be held responsible for stolen candy, so to just come to get the box, which I'm fine with. It was... We had high theft there anyway, so I'm fine to just lose it, but we can find a better location. So $9.86 from that one, and on to the next one. All right, guys, this is from our second Papa John's location. It's up by our discount tire. Um, this is, a, sorry about that. We had two weeks here. This is $15 in cash, um, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 86. And we had 20 pieces of candy left which is roughly what is that six seven dollars so we technically should have had 23 dollars and we're at 22.86 so we only had 14 cents of theft at that location that's awesome thank you azan khan for uh, giving me the idea to go to papa john's because it's been a, a good locations for us um, on to the next one okay guys so then this one is our new papa john's location that we just got it's our first two-week collection. It had 17 pieces of candy left, which is roughly six bucks. We had $14, and then if you can see here, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 85. So we had about a oh, a dollar 15 in theft over the first two weeks. That's not bad, I'll take that all day. But 22.85 from our newest Papa John's, we're pretty happy with that. Hopefully that continues. And on to our next one. Okay guys, so this is actually a, another Papa John's location. This is the one that's kind of down by our house. It had 54 pieces of candy left, which is $18 worth of candy left. So we should have 12. And we actually have $10 bills and $2 and quarters. So exactly 12, no theft from there in two weeks. Uh, we might push this one out like three weeks just to see if we can sell through a little more of that candy. But zero theft is amazing. So. Another Papa John's taking care of business for us. On to our next one. All right, guys, so this one is Massa Massage Envy. This is the one where only the employees have access to it. There was 39 pieces of candy left, which is, <clears throat> what is that? $13 worth of candy remaining. So we should have had uh, $17 in here. Um, we only had... Gosh, I forgot. Hold on. All right, so we had $9.86 in here. We should have had 17 So we had $7.20 something cents of theft. Um, again, this location is just the employees. So this is the best collection we've had from that location because they moved our box. Um, but I am going to have to talk to them about the theft and see if we can't cut that out as well. It's been a month, and so in a month I'll talk to them again about it, and uh, hopefully we can cut it down the following month. On to our next one. Okay guys, so this is our discount tire location. We had 18 pieces of candy left, which is $6 of, 
of candy remaining so we should have 22 we do always have theft at this location though but that's just how it is we collect them every single week so we ended up with one two Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty. Fifteen dollars and forty-eight cents. Um, so let's see, plus the six. So we had like nine dollars of theft. That's actually pretty high for this location. Usually it's like between five and seven. Um, we'll we'll take it though, because again, we collect every single week, and every week it's got you know fifteen to twenty bucks in it, and so it's a very good box, even with the theft. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and total up everything. You can see back there. Uh, ones in a big fat stack of change. So we're gonna count everything up and see if we made it to a hundred All right guys, so I'm gonna calculate some totals here. I know it's hard to see on this carpet um, But they weren't staying very good on that blue. So I've got them in rows of five So I've got five ten fifteen twenty twenty five thirty thirty five um, In quarters and then there's obviously some dimes and nickels here, but thirty five and then I got ten twenty five cents here plus 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 cents so 76 so 35 76 plus 79 dollars cash guys that puts us over 100 bucks this is all just from the honor boxes so that gives us a total of 114 and this was 95 cents i counted that wrong so 114.95 for our first collection of over 100 bucks that's pretty awesome 